<laughs> okay, go. Go for it. Do whatever you like. Hi guys, I'm here with uh, Filippo. He's here Hi <laughs> uh, to put us some really nice house music tonight. So it's not first time here in Bulgaria, right? Absolutely not. I've been here many times and I love it. Uh, I went to the seaside, I went to Lozenitz, and I've been oh, absolutely beautiful. Right? I, I, I was really looking forward to coming back because the people have really good taste in music and they actually like to listen to what you do. Which is, which is really good for a DJ. It's really good, you know, you can play something and people will be listening. They're not expecting to hear the commercial stuff or the songs they've already heard. They, they, they welcome, very welcoming. I like it. You like it, but uh, you travel a lot, yeah. like, and you see a lot of people. So is it any difference between the audience in the different countries, like, you know, in Europe, <laughs> well, uh, states, different continents? Well, most, well, um, uh, Italy, which is where I've been living for the last few years, I'm leaving, I'm going back to London. It's, it's the worst place. The worst place. Why? Yeah, because they, they, they just want to hear songs they know, and then uh, in, in, the, in most of the clubs, and in the underground clubs, as long as you're not Italian, that's cool. That's cool. So there's so many Italian DJs who are really, really good, who aren't working. Um, I, I work a lot in England, and England is where I started working in 1986, and that is still great. In London, everyone is great. And when you start your career, you start to work with the names like Carl Cox. Oh yeah, and stuff no, like Carl Cox wasn't a DJ when I started. He used to come yeah, to where I used to play. Uh, I used to play at Heaven, which was uh, the first um, not underground house club. House had just got really big in England, and uh, a, a big there was a gay club called Heaven. It's beautiful. It's still there. They used to do one night on Friday. It's called Spectrum, and I used to DJ in one of the three. There was three uh, dance floors, and Carl Cox used to come and listen to what we used to play. Carl Cox, Sebastian Fontaine, they always used to come and dance to the music that we used to play. And I, my used to, I started, my first job was with Paul Anderson. I used to do the warm up for Paul Anderson. And I heard the first house record that was played in Europe was played by Paul Anderson. So he's the first house DJ in Europe. So you have a lot of like uh, a I'm lot old. of- I'm old, I'm old. It doesn't matter, <laughs> but, but you have a lot of experience. Oh, loads. And uh, can you tell me what is what are the changes in the music industry till the time you start your career oh, these yeah. days? Oh yeah. Oh uh, like, uh, yeah. When, when I was uh, young, there was only three things you could do. You had uh, football, music, and your girlfriend. <laughs> right. Because I hate football, I had uh, I spent most of my time listening to music, playing music, and spending time with my girlfriend. And so, and so all your friends, in those days, you had to go to record shops and spend the whole morning looking through records and you had not much money, you, you'd be, they'd be used records, right? And so, you, and you could listen to them before you bought them. And I had started building a big collection of records and so your friends find out and they say, can you come and play at my birthday party? Because not everybody was, could have music. It wasn't, it's not like today with internet that you can just go and download it. You had to find somebody who knew about music. So there was a person who liked reggae, person who liked um, disco, the person who liked hip hop, and that's how it all started. Now, um, and also when we used to make records, you had to have go into the studio with a definite idea, and to save money you'd go from midnight to seven o'clock in the morning, which cost less. Midnight shift, yeah, which is really cool. And you had to come out with the tape, you had to buy the tape, and then the tape you'd take to the record company. Now, on one hand it's really good that you can make a record with your iPad, on the other hand, it's really bad because what's happened is it's got so easy that the, 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 the level, the quality of the music that's coming out is just going down. They sound like shit. Can I say shit on your program? Yeah. The, the mo <laughs> most most of the the, uh, the the digital music on iTunes and on everywhere it sounds really bad because it's uh, being compressed for digital. Yeah, we know. Now what they do, even like Madonna, will make an album and they'll do one mix for the CD and then the one mix for so iTunes digital, yeah. because digital. yeah or the car I mean you know so that's got really bad um, also house music which is not which is all house music is it's just modern disco it's like comes from soul right and so what happens yes. it comes from soul turns, and then disco and then all of a sudden it becomes electronic in the 80s with Herbie Hancock was one of the first producers to use electronic music and um, and then it all of a sudden became commercial, uh, drum and bass, electro, uh, house, deep house. They, they have all these different names, but all all it is is just dance music. And so and so, as long as you choose, I think as a, as a, as a, as a DJ, and I'm a kind of snob, I'm a bit of 
a snob like I, you know I don't think many DJs are good yeah of course I don't think there are not many good DJs and the best DJs the are the, yeah the best DJs I've heard are, are not famous they're like really they're these little underground guys you can tell they've got real passion for the music yeah. and they and they'll surprise me they'll play a record I'm like, wow I haven't heard that and it's, it's very rare that I'm, I'll be listening to music and say what's that record what's that record what's that record because there's so much that comes out and instead of each person deciding what they like and they now have the possibility to find everything I mean I, I looked for one record for four years I couldn't find it and the day I found it I was the happiest person in my life yeah, when I was a little boy yeah, I was like I was like 18 now you can find yeah, everything yeah, like yeah it's like I found it I phoned my friends yeah. on the normal telephone because they weren't mobile phones I phoned them up like, oh I found that record I found that record and I would go around to my friend's house and we'd play it and listen to it and that was an exciting thing now because there's so much on one hand it should be easier to be individual and find the music you like but on the other hand people have got really lazy and they just download Luciano's playlist Richie Orton's playlist uh, Villa Lobos uh, playlist and so you're not really a DJ you're like a jukebox it's like a selector exactly it's like, it's, it's like, it's like pressing a button right? yeah. and I don't like um, I understand that a computer could be really good and you can, you can do lots of different things that you didn't you used to be able to but you know if I buy a record I like it from the beginning to the end you know I don't buy just a record so I can just play a little bit on a loop I like the whole thing and I think it's just because I'm old I'm, you know no it's just sound classy it's, it's like yeah, yeah. exactly and things don't sound as good anymore uh, if people are constantly changing the record I mean there's not, used to be, you start and you have to get, understand what the people want to hear that night and then you slowly build up the evening and then you decide when's a good time to put the faster record or the slow record. Now, most DJs start and if each record's got four pauses and four, it four times goes and then starts and everyone starts going like that. And it's just, I think it's just boring. It's not like uh, It's not like a wave. It's not like a wave. It's just like up, 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 up all the time. Boring. It's really boring. Yeah, it's not like a story. No, exactly. It's not like a, a, a journey. Yeah, a journey. It must be a journey. It must be a journey, yeah. Yeah, so what about uh, the house music in UK and US? Uh, yeah, I know it's different, but can you tell me more about this difference? Because okay. uh, the people must know it. Okay. Because I usually like... Uh, have a big mistake about the house music in UK like it's really different like well, carriage and these kind of uh, well, two steps well, well, two, well yeah I, you know they've given different names to music it's yeah. at the end of the day if it's got a 4-4 beat it's house music it is, yeah. if it's got a broken beat it's like break beat dubstep yeah, whatever dubstep. but uh, uh, and, you know, see America is really big yeah. and we're in Europe and, and so you think like um, acid house came from Chicago Techno came from Detroit, and all the sort of soulful house music came from the New York area. Um, and then it got came to England. I know you know that. Right? <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know that. <laughs> and then what happened? It came to England at the same time hip hop had just come out. And London has always been somewhere where it's been like it's like the door to Europe, to America. So everything comes through London. It is. And the English uh, music business was—they were very, very good. They 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 see what was good, what could be commercial and they'd commercialize it. So what happened is that all the house music came to England and it got diffused into Europe. And uh, Ibiza, I mean, if you really want to know the story, I could I tell, it's going to take ages to tell you the whole story about Ibiza and all yeah, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, just tell me the oh, story. Okay, yeah. very quickly, okay. okay Ibiza, <laughs> Ibiza was a place where it was very cheap to go on holiday. So what happened was that the, a lot of the uh, working class Ita um, English would go on holiday to Ibiza and the Germans and the Austrians and so a, a, a nightclub in Ibiza would have to play music that was okay for everybody right at the same time the drug scene was getting really big so you give someone an ecstasy tablet in 1987 in Ibiza you can play any record and they're gonna think and it sounds fantastic it, yeah. exactly so I mean they were playing in Ibiza in Amnesia they were playing the theme tune from a 70s uh, TV show called Taxi and that became the the, 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 the record they play, the, the first record that everyone would go crazy because everyone was completely out of their head. And so that became, that was called like Balearic music. And then that went back to England 
and the English commercialised that as well. Uh, it's, a, it's a kind of long story. I think now what's happened is that um, it, it, music is available from everywhere to everybody. And, and, and I, it's kind of, it can be a good thing and a bad thing. Like I was saying before, it can either be good because I can go and find anything I want and I can like, it's like being in a really, really, really big record shop and being able to find anything. At the same time, people just got lazy and they just press a button and just listen to anything. Do you produce something? Oh God, yeah, loads. But now? Oh yeah, I did 14 records last year. Last I also year. produced, uh, I did a remix for a Bulgarian singer called Viara Atova. I know her. Yeah, I did a remix of a really R&B record she did with Billy Hala Petri. Billy, Billy Klopato, Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid. I did a, um, a remix of that record mm -hmm. a long time ago and it's just been um, used here for uh, the, the, uh, the soundtrack of a TV show. I didn't know that. But I don't actually like making house music. I like making like trip hop. That's my yeah, that's my favorite. This is cool, like yeah, tricky like, stuff. Exactly. I love making, I mean, that's really English. Portis Head, Massive yes. Attack. I love doing that. But, you know, recently I've just been doing lots of remixes. And I'm on, I've got so many tracks on Beatport. And my, my, my artist name is Uncle Dog. And um, yeah, loads. loads. But my records, I, I, I pride myself with the fact they sound, they, they're made very well and they sound good. They don't sound MP3, they sound like a record. But still, about the TV, do you plan to make a video or stuff as this? And why? Why most of the you can know house music? Yes, of course okay. you can smoke. Uh, a lot don't of smoke, the, kids. It's bad for <laughs> you. It's bad for them. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the house tracks they don't have video clips. Why is that? Because I think it's because um, the only ones that, 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 that go really big are like Avicii and things like yeah, that. Yeah, they do it. You know, having said that, I don't really like that kind of music, but he's very good. The music that Avicii does. That style, it's very well made. I mean, if you listen to it, the sounds he uses, only he uses that. And the Italians trying to copy him, and the English try and copy him, but they don't because it's, he's actually very good at making that. It's record. like a signature. Yeah, very good. It's very, they're very well made his records. I mean, I don't like that music, but I mean, basically, he's just making country and western music with a bass drum underneath. Yeah, but uh, he's uh, just uh, one DJ who makes actually videos, but most of the DJs they don't. Well, yeah, I think, it, I mean, you know, when I when I made a record that sold quite a lot of records in the 80s, it sold 5,000 copies of vinyl. Now, you're lucky if you sell 50. Hired because of this. Yeah, well, so there's, no one's going to invest in a video, and also the TV on the TV, I mean, how many TV stations are going to show house videos? Well, actually, we have a you do. like yeah, we we do because we have uh, something like a weekend party hours yeah, like yeah. And, and at night, and we put only electronic music on this on this part I, of I the night. I think now you can make your own video. I think yeah. now you can make a record waiting for an aeroplane on your iPad and make a video for it. Yeah, if you want, you can yeah. do it. I'm no good at making video. I'm just good at making records. Okay, what do you dream of? I, I dream of uh, what, what do I dream really of? want. Oh, what I really want? Yeah. For your I life. I don't now really in think the you want to know what I really want. You really want to know? Yeah, I want to know. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you really want to know? Okay. Uh, okay. I'd love to have my own studio, but I'd love to have a studio that works uh, because most, I know a lot of people with beautiful studios and, and they don't work. They can't pay the bills because people yeah. don't go to good studios anymore. And do you produce uh, other kind of artists? I know you have a label. Yeah, I mean, well, I mostly do remixes, or someone ha has a song and I'll produce it. And uh, you know, I said this, I've said this every time I come here, that I would love to produce an Aziz record. Yeah, I think he's really good. I think he's completely crazy. Yeah, he's, he's crazy. He's yeah. intelligent crazy, because there's stupid crazy and there's intelligent crazy. I agree. And I think you know what I noticed because I came here, and I turned the TV on, and I was like, it was Chalga Channel. Yeah. And I'd know, I don't know what that is, but like had explained to me, and like, you know what, the quality of the music and the production and the video is better than a lot of other places. I mean, you can either like it or you don't like it. I mean, to me, it looks like the '80s hip hop videos. You know, like everyone with like gold chains and big cars, and I think it was, yeah, it's but, you a know, little bit, yeah, it's a bit, bit kitsch. Absolutely. Yeah, but it's kitsch. It's intelligent kitsch, and you know what? It's good quality kitsch. The singers sing, the videos are made very well, the songs are produced extremely well. But do you know what they're singing about? Yeah, but does, it, does it matter? <laughs> what, does, what does Madonna sing about? It's probably sex, right? It's, it's, always, it's always double meanings and all this kind of stuff. It's kind yeah. of funny. 
it's amusing. Okay, okay. I think it's amusing. I mean, like, people believe it, so there must be something in that kind of music that they like. And I and to see, if you want to call it trashy music, produced that well, that should be a lesson for everybody. Yeah, it's like uh, became a mainstream here. Yeah, but it's yeah. it's really well it's made. Commercial. It is fact. Yeah, it's really well made. And I was like, hold on a second, is this the trashy music? But hold on, it's really well mixed. The singers know how to sing. The videos are, are lit really, really well. So I, you know, good, good, great. I want to go to, I want to see a childhood club. I want to meet Aziz, I think he's really cool. Where you will go after Bulgaria, after tonight? I'm going to London. And put some music there? Yeah, I'm yeah. going to, I've got two meetings in London. I've just got a job in a really cool club in London. Very small little club, which I prefer. I don't like big discos. I like small little places, yeah. dark with a good sound system. And you will like the way. Oh uh, yeah, I can't yeah. wait. I can't, you know what I'm actually going to do? Because I'm old, I'm going to sleep at like midnight, <laughs> yeah. and I get up at five o'clock in the morning, have breakfast, <laughs> and then go to the wake up. So okay, can you give me an idea? Something like, uh, hi guys, I'm Philip Bokey. So you're Hello. watching The Voice TV. Uh, the Voice. The Voice. Okay. Yeah. Is that too close? Yeah. No, it's great. Hello everybody, my name's Filippo or Uncle Dob and you're watching The Voice. Keep dancing. <laughs> Thank you very much. You. You're welcome. Are you it's coming later? For me. I hope so. Oh, yeah, get in touch, you've got all the contacts.